All over water, Governor Hobbs now vetoing a bill that would have went a long way towards solving the ongoing water woes in the Rio Verde foothills community outside Scottsdale. So why the veto and what happens next year? ABC 15's Ashley Beretta is getting some answers. At the end of the day, our representative government has failed this community in a big way. Rio Verde Foothills residents now trying to find a new short-term solution after a bill that would have essentially forced Scottsdale to temporarily restore standpipe water to their community was rejected. Larry Wolf is holding on to every drop of water he can. I've got water running off the roof through the scupper into a 96-gallon trash can. The city of Scottsdale cutting off the unincorporated community on January 1st, citing their drought management plan. There was hope that a house bill would be their answer, but Governor Hobbs vetoing it Monday, stating it fails to provide an immediate solution since it passed without an emergency clause, but residents think otherwise. It was um, our best and likely our only opportunity to get water fast. Governor Hobbs vetoing that bill, but sending this letter to the Speaker of the House, asking him to take action and send a different House bill to her desk, citing that it is a bipartisan solution, has an emergency clause for immediate effect, and language addressing the long-term issue of wildcat development. That issue is a loophole that allows residential developers to build without being required to prove an assured water supply for the next 100 years. The new bill would essentially force Scottsdale to revive its sandpipe, but create a separate district to oversee it. It also comes with concerns, the main one being time. I think we're looking at three to four months to get this one going if it passes the Senate with the supermajority. Christy Jackman also pointing out the new bill does not provide any funding. Perhaps it's time to do an executive order. Larry's biggest concern is the fire danger now that the triple digit heat is here. There's people's lives at risk. There's animals at risk. There's beautiful land that's at risk. I can assure you this is going to get a lot of media attention and I feel terribly about that because it hurts Arizona. It hurts Scottsdale. It hurts this beautiful area that we live in. Ashley Perrette is ABC 15 Arizona.